Bamiluye. Give Jesus a round of applause. You can clap louder than that as he's coming to the podium. Begin to give your, no, give your hands. Clap your hand, clap your hand, and give glory to the name of the Lord. God bless you, sir. You are welcome, sir. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us clap for Jesus Christ. Yeah, clap for Jesus Christ. Yeah. I give glory to God tonight for this great opportunity by helping me to come to this place I thank you so much our fathers thank you so much for this great opportunity to stand before great people of God I count it a great privilege and I appreciate God for your life, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let's clap for Jesus again. Shall we pray? Our mighty Father, King of glory, excellent God, we thank you so much for what you are doing. We thank you for your mighty move. We thank you for the move of the Holy Ghost. That she's happening presently in your church in this great commission here. Father, we thank you for our fathers that you have raised up for a time like this. We thank you for all the workers. We thank you for all the choir. We thank you for everyone, the officers of the church that you have raised for a time like this to prepare people for your coming and we thank you Jesus for this program and we thank you for this worship night Father tonight glorify yourself tonight glorify your holy name tonight visit us tonight touch our hearts tonight open our eyes tonight visit us from heaven tonight transform our life tonight may we see you tonight may we know ourselves thank you Jesus mighty father I pray that you put your words in my mouth that as I open my mouth your word will come directly from the throne of grace father I pray that you will speak through me your heart's pain you will speak through me your heart's desire and your word will wash us clean tonight thank you Jesus Holy Spirit, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Tonight, Lalei, I am speaking Monsoro. by the special grace of God. Nipa ore of on let the fire fall. Lori, Jackie, no kyo sokale. Let the fire fall. Jackie, no kyo sokale. I want to thank the Lord for the choir that I've just ministered. Because they were ministering when I came. I was so moved by the music. 
I was so inspired by the song. I was watching closely the coordinator and the conductors. May the Lord inspire you more in the name of Jesus. I want to say that we are at the time, this time. We are at the end time. At the end time. The end time. The end time. We don't even know what is in two years' time. This world has grown old. This world has grown old. And you can't predict. People cannot even talk about two, three years time again. So we are in the time that we need the fire of the Holy Ghost. This is not the time of compromise. This is not the time that you don't know what you are doing. This is not the time that they beg you to come to church. This is not the time that you play with prayers. This is not the time to play with sin and play with God. Jesus can come anytime. The coming is so close. This is not like 10 years ago. This is not like 15 years ago. This is not like 20 years ago. Even the world powers don't know what is happening again. They are confused. Things are confusing. It's shows. The coming is so close. So this is the time we need the fire. The fire that we consume all consumables. The fire that we consume all the irrelevances. Enough of compromise. Enough of lukewarmness. Enough of cold and hot all the time. I pray for us. This conference. These conventions. <laughs> that we transform our life completely in the mighty name of Jesus so I'm, I'm speaking on let the fire fall when the Lord instructed the theme of this worship night and call it let the fire fall it means the Lord wants to ignite the fire of revival and if the Lord said he wants to ignite the fire of revival, it is because he knows that the fire has died in the life of many people. So on this mountain tonight, the Lord wants to release the fire of revival. And I pray for every one of us that we will catch our own we will we take our own the fire will fall and it will come upon every one of us and then our life will never remain the same again so the Lord declared let the fire fall from where will the fire fall and upon what will the fire fall or from where will it fall and upon what will it fall there are three instances I want to make from the scripture the first example first chronicle chapter 21 verse 26 first chronicle 21 first chronicle 21 26 only 21 SL 26. It was talking about David. He said, David built an altar. David is to the Lord. There and sacrifice burnt offering. And the, and the fellowship offering. And he, and he called on the Lord. And the Lord answered him with fire from heaven on the altar of burnt offering. 
So we can see the first instance. Fire came down from heaven to, the, to, the, to, to consume sacrifice that David offered on the altar. And then point number two. David built an altar of sacrifice unto God. He sacrificed burnt offering on the altar. And the Lord answered with fire. So we could see three things there. Number one, he built an altar. Number two, he placed sacrifice on the altar. And then fire now came down upon the altar. So we have two more instances like that. That I want to show us. The second example. First King chapter 8. First King chapter 8. Verse 54. And so it was. When Solomon had finished praying all this Solomon prayers. And the supplication to the Lord. That he arose from before the Lord. And before the altar of the Lord, from knees of his knees, and Solomon offered the sacrifice of peace offering. Verse 63. And, and Solomon offered, and Solomon offered a Solomon offered the sacrifice of peace offerings. Solomon is if he which he offered to the Lord. Twenty two thousand bulls. Egba mokalam malu and one hundred and twenty thousand sheep. Ati okemefa aguton. So we can see two things there. Alerin kamechi nibi yo. He prepared an altar. Ni sheni otek pepe fu oluwa. And then he made a sacrifice. Osi wa fi ebosi susu ni. And the second Chronicle chapter seven verse one. Ibata wade iwe kronika keji ori ikeje esa ikini. When Solomon finished praying. Solomon is it a barrier do right there? Fire came down from heaven in a ball at your and consumed the burnt of and the sacrifices and the glory filled the temple. So we saw the three points the altar the sacrifice Ari, Ebo, and then the fire Aswari, no. and so we have those three again no, Tori, no. Ari, come at and then point number three Koko, Ikata, Elijah Elijah first king Iwe, Awobai, Kini, chapter 18 Ori, Ikeji, Dilogun, verse 30 Ese, first king 18 30 Iwe, Awobai, Kini, then Elijah, Elijah said to all the people Come near to me So all the people came near to him And he repaired the altar of the Lord That was broken down Then verse 33 and he put the woods in order. And he cut the and he cut the bulls in pieces. And laid it on the wood. And he said, fill for fill for water pot with water. And pour it on the burnt sacrifice. And on the wood. Then verse 38. Then the fire of the Lord fell. And consumed the burnt of And the wood. And the stone. And the dust. And it leaked up the water. That was in the trench. Again, then we now see again that we see the altar. Altar was raised, sacrifice was made, and then fire came down. So we can see these three examples that we have seen all what it involved for, for the fire to fall. What it involves for the fire to fall. If you want the fire to fall, 
Get ready. Emula. To arrange the altar. Lati ri pe atun pe pe Oluwa se. Get ready to build the altar of God. Emula lati ko pe pe fun Oluwa. Secondly. Ekeji. If you want the fire to fall. Be don fe ki no so. Get ready to bring the sacrificial offerings. Lati mu e bo si sun wa. On to the altar. Si ori pe pe na. Sacrifice must be on the altar. Agbodo ri e bo lori pe pe. And then sacrifice for burnt offering. As you are agbodori ero be sisun. When the altar is built, ego ni gba ta ba mo pepe and well arranged. Ti a si to da and the sacrifice is placed on the altar. Ti a si wa gbe e bo sori re for the burnt offering. Lati fun e bo re sisun fire will fall. Dodo ni you know you saw. That is the three example we have seen. Eh yi ni apere meta ti a ti ri. Now let me talk about the altar. Bayi Eje n so nipa pepe Oluwa. Before talking about the sacrifice. Ki a to ma so nipa e bo First King chapter eighteen. No, no way. I want by King. First, first thirty. Ori ikeji that we just read now. Then Elisha said to all the people. I want to be. Elijah will fulfill God's will in your way. Come near to me. Assume me. So all the people came near to him. I will. You what? And he repaired the altar of the Lord. Oh, what took back the Holy One? That was broken down. Before Elijah could pray down fire from heaven, Elijah would not be in a circle. He he rebuilt the altar that was broken down. Oh, go go to back the Holy One. Totally subuje. There is an example like this in Judges chapter six. Ari ru akere bayi. Ninu we oni da jo ori verse twenty five. Ori kefa ese ike dogbo. Kidio rebuilt an altar. Se ni kidio ni furare. Pepe pepe fu oluwa. He rebuilt the altar. O tu pepe oluwa she. The Lord commanded Gideon. Oluwa pase mu kidio ni. Before he could lead the people of Israel. Koto di wipe yo dari awo mo Israeli. Put down the altar of Baal in his father's house. Go go pepe Baal ni kio lo wolule. And he rebuilt. Another altar for the Lord. Oh, what cock pepper me no for Oluwa. So we now see. What is it? I want to pay that when the Lord asks you to build to break down an altar. To Oluwa ban shope, I'm a who I want pepper can lule. It is because it's not glorifying unto God. And you too much shope, I want pepper you go for go for Oluwa. And then he said you should rebuild an altar. Oluwa was shope, I want to pepper me no show. Now let's look at another thing. A jar to kill sin can be. What altar are we talking about? You know I want pepper we need and saw. First Corinthians chapter six verse nineteen. You were chronic a kini. Ori kefa ese koko di logun. First Corinthians six nineteen. Iwe Corinthi kini ori kefa ese koko di logun. He said, or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? You will be, and you go out and will be. Are you in the temple of the Who is in you? Two one in on you. Whom you have from God. Ele iti iti balati owo Oluwa. And you are not his own. And you ki as you say here. Do you know? Ndema kwe. I want to ask. Do you know? The Bible says, "Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost." Temple here, mimi mimi. As you are sitting down, be o ti joko ji. As you are looking at me, be o si uwo me. You are a temple looking at me. Bekpe olon, temple olu alu uwo. I am a temple talking to you. Ba ba, bekpe olu a temple olu a nisho. A temple is interpreting my word. E wo me. Ah, and it also go off me on me. Temple your Lord. As you are sitting down, you are a temple. Be one of the two call you temple your Lord. That is what the Bible says. And your heart, I think me, oh God, inside your heart, Timbela are you? That is where the altar is. If a girl, girl, nick back all the way. Wherever you find a temple, if be keep it here, but you temple, you find an altar. Eh, nick back all the way. For example. When we come to this place now, there is only one altar here. This is where we are now. From where the word is coming out. Whenever you come to this place, and it's a place of worship, the only thing that will make it a place of worship that you can really know fast. You will look for where is the altar. Am I correct? Am I correct? If the Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, there is an altar inside that temple. And that altar belongs to the Holy Spirit. 
e mi mi ma lo si wa ni pepe na so therefore tori na it it means if your heart is the altar o tu mo si pe bi okan re ba wa je pepe if it is the altar of your body and life o yi ni pepe to nbe ninu ago ara re ati aye re how do you rebuild your broken down altar bo ni a o ti tu pepe ti se okan ti nbe ni ago ara re because fire will not fall you didn't nipe You know, ni so. If the altar is not correct, big back back here, but oh, Elijah rebuilt the altar that was broken down. Elijah took back back to the shubushe. If they, if he wants the Lord to answer, be a bound fair, he only will go down. The altar must be rebuilt. I get me. I took back back she. Jeremiah chapter four verse four. You were Jeremiah. Ori kani ese kani Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 4 We Jeremiah ori kani He said ese kani Circumcise yourself to the Lord O so wi pe e yara yin soto fun Oluwa and take away the false king of your heart O wi pe e ko ara yin e ko ara yin ni la fun Oluwa ki e si mu ki e si mu awo ikola okan yin kuro ye men of Judah and inhabitant of Jerusalem E yi in your juda ati olugbe jerusalem let my fury come forth like fire ki ika nu mi ki o ba ki o baba je bi ina am born so that no one can quench it ki o ika nu mi ki o baba ja bi ina ki o si je to be ti ko si eni ti o le ba because of the evil of your doings nitori buburu ise yin this is what the lord was the lord was talking this The Lord was talking this to the house of Judah and Jerusalem. Eyi ni Oluwa nwi fun ile Judah ti Jerusalem. But this is your but Judah and Jerusalem is not here. Sugbo ko wa si Judah ti Jerusalem nbi ba. This is Nigeria. Nigeria la wa yo. And the word of God is life. Oro Oluwa si je iye. Life. Iye ni o as it was at that time. Bi o ti wa ni atete ko se. This as the same thing relevant. Be lo nbe ni sisin yi. God was talking to Judah and Jerusalem then. Oluwa nba Judah ti Jerusalem wi ni gba na. But the word of God that is life. Sugbo oro Olorun to wa je iye. Is the same thing, the same yesterday today and forever. Oh na ni okan lana lo ni ati ti lana. That word is coming to you now. Oro na wa wa ba oba yi ba yi. Say circumcise yourself unto the Lord. O wi pe ko ara re ni la fun oluwa take away the false king of your heart mo gbogbo awon awo ti o dara ku oni okan re remove the false king from your heart ah ki e si mu awon awo ikola ku oni aya yin he said let my fury come like fire o wi pe ki binu mi ke mo ba wa jade bi na and burn so that no one can quench it ki o si jo to be ti ko si eni ti o le when we are asking the lord for fire ago bi a ba nbi oluwa fun ina when you are asking the lord for fire ba si nbe oluwa mu na wa mu na wa arrange the altar of your heart to pe pe okan yin se because this is our god that you are talking about olorun wa ti an soro re yi is the consuming fire ina ajo ni run ni o is the fire of the holy ghost si ina mi mi mo and it's also consuming o si je ina ti jo ni run o it is the same fire that came the fire came out of the altar and quenched the life of Nadab and Abihu ebo ina to wa sori pepe to ju Nadab ati Abihu because their life was not correct isn't it be aye won o ba to mu what type of fire are we asking for tonight iru na wo la nbere la leyi is the fire of the holy ghost ina mi mi mo ni fire from god ina la to do oluwa fire from the holy ghost ina la ti odo e mi mi mo if you want the fire of the holy ghost ebo bi e ba n fe yi na mi mi mo arrange the altar e tu pe pe se the altar we are talking about now pe pe ta n wi yo it's not this physical altar you wa se igi tin be ni waju mi there is an altar inside of your life pe pe kan be ninu aye re is it correct she e yi ni o ba igba mu is the altar correct se pe pe okan re se ko ti ye because if you are calling for fire e di ni pe mo mo wi fe pe be ba n pe yi na ki na so ki na so the type of fire that came for that that came on the altar from the altar for another man had been consumed iru ina to jo to so kale si nadani ati had been i ma jo ni run o but the fire that came on the day of pentecost sugba you know to wa lo jo pentecost is the fire that empowers o je ina ti fun ni ni agbara the power that empowers ina ti fun ni ni okun the power that empowers ina ti mo fun ni ni okun the power that burns ahead of you 
As you are coming, it's going ahead of you. In your office, the fire burns around your house. In your house, it burns around you. The forces of darkness see the fire. You may not see it. But in your prayers and fasting, in your working for God, in your righteous living, as you are moving with God, with fear and trembling and you are lifting his name the fire keeps burning the fire keeps burning when you open your mouth as you preach the word the fire burns as you give counsel in the fire burns if you are running from demons you are running from witches and wizards you don't have the fire in you if you are going about visiting from prophet to prophet from one prophet to another 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 oh nina you did a fire you know the fire is not in you can jump a lot a child of god there's no fire in you if you are a child of god when you didn't swallow fire but tonight as you are repairing the altar of your life, and you are repairing the altar of your heart, by the mercy and the grace of the Lord, the Lord said, "Take it, no go to hell." That fire will fall tonight. You know you so your life will never remain the same. You are only threatening you in your own hands, and you are threatening us. You know, see like you are fire. One had a man in with delay. They are threatening you, your family. Oh, one for car. And then you are jumping up and one by car. And then you are afraid. Oh, the baby Ben is around. And you have Bible with you. Oh, baby Ben is happy. And you are putting Bible on your oh, bed. Oh, church. And you are going to church. Oh, you know, sin in your fire in you. No, you are running around. Ah, it's a car. You see, tonight is the end of your running after skelter. You see, tonight is the end of your running after skelter. You see, tonight is the end of your running after skelter. Your life of running up and down is over now. You are running now. So, therefore, then the Lord. Says, let the fire fall. God wants to send down fire. Wherever you are this time, I want you to get yourself ready. I'll receive that fire. As the word is coming out, right from the time as the music was coming out, and as the messages were coming out, catch the fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Joel chapter 2 verse 13. So, so rent your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and great in kindness and he relents from doing harm so, so what is the cancelling of the word of God today in order for the fire to come in order for the fire to fall you rebuild the altar what is the meaning of rebuilding the altar because the altar is in your heart and then Joel chapter 2 verse 3 now 13 shall say Joel 2 13 he said rent your heart not your garment that if you want the fire you need the fire at this time the first 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 um, the first Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 he's you, talking about perilous times and second Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 talking about falling away the falling away of many he said many falling away from faith and it is happening it is happening people are falling away from faith people that have been thinking and knowing the Lord before 
People we know for God right from when we were young. Suddenly, they, be they begin to grow cold. And many are falling away. Something you know were not godly before. He's suddenly becoming godly to you. No, Gigi. Things you know that is not righteous before. Suddenly it's becoming righteous to you. No, Things that were bad before. That were preaching against before. And suddenly becoming nice to you. No, Gigi. It is the spirit of the end time. If you carry the fire of the Holy Ghost, those things will not overcome you. Ha, if any insect move closer, move, move closer to a gas lamp, gas lamp. in a gas, in a gas lamp. gas lamp. It will burn. It is the same thing. You need the fire at this time. And so we thank God. We give glory to God for this mission. That, that the Lord speak. The Lord speak. And spoke and said, Let there be fire. Because He knows we need the fire. So therefore, therefore, what is the word for you? The word for you, therefore, is rend your heart. Rend your heart and not your cloth. He said, Return to the Lord. You turn to the Lord your God. Where is it that you know your heart has been broken down? Where is it that you know that you have missed it? Ah, we are not talking about you. You are not talking about you, church member now. I'm a son of a Roman job. You're not talking about church members now. I'm a son of a Roman job. You're not talking about your service in God now. I see what you say. You may be a worker in the church. You may be a choir. You may be a dickie. You may be a dickie. Whoever you may be. Why you like that? You're killing your job. It doesn't correspond with the faith that you carry. See, I'm going to come with you. So what? I'm going to come with you. I'm going to come with you. I'm going to come with you. In your heart been broken down. If it has if it has broken down, the Lord said, Return to the Lord your God. Because He wants to give fire. And I pray for you tonight. Lastly, wherever you wherever you are, you will return home with fire of God in you. Amen. Oh, Padasile. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is the altar that must be broken down. And rebuilt. Altar of unrighteousness. Must be broken down. If the fire must fall. Altar of unrighteousness. Must be broken down. Like God, Altar of ungodliness. Go, go. Pepe, I be alone. Must be broken down. God, if the fire must fall. Be in a yoba, so. If you need the fire. To ba, nilo, you know? And you want the fire to fall. To si, pe, kino, so. Because God wants to send the fire. Out. Pe, olu, have, you know, but the Lord is sending his servants. So, be, olu, have, you know, As I'm speaking now. Be, mo, tin, so, for, ba, other men of God will still speak. And when, you know, alone, me, you know, to, so, the Lord using the words to persuade you. Olu, wa, san, fioro, yiro, that he wants you to go home with fire now. Pe, uh, wherever, wherever, at the present time, nobody survived without the fire of the Holy Ghost. Uh, nobody survives so uh, without the fire of the Holy Ghost. Nobody survives. Unrighteousness and sin is creeping into the church. Unrighteousness and sin is creeping into homes. Things that were bad.
bad before. As he is becoming good now. Uh, 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 people are giving excuses from the Bible. Don't live on righteous life. If you read, if you hear some children of God talking, you will be amazed. Ah, that, don't you can you understand? Don't you know that people don't even want to hear that somebody is a pastor again? When you say I'm a pastor, they, they become irritated. It's your man. It, it, it is the sign of the end time. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? It is the sign of the end time. Reason is because many have destabilized the name of Jesus. So I am calling to you this night. Oh, no. I want to do so all of you. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Yes, all you want, but I will like that. Oh, Baba Jesus, look at him. Kill him back at Kiriga. If you are not rapturable with Jesus, then what is your business? Kill him back at Kiriga. Then what is all your stress? Oh, by way, you fast. Oh, by dura, you pray. Oh, car Kiri, you move around. Oh, she say, you walk. You go see a year or two, need to make your life is the minimum. Jesus, don't bow to Murale. Jesus is even coming. You are not prepared. You want to what was the essence of your running now? If you want to enjoy the world, go and enjoy the world. If you want to be in Christ, stay in Christ. Why are you going, going, coming back, going, coming back? Until now, I feel shady. That's what the fire want to do. Oh my, I go go away. They they know it will quench all unrighteousness. And we need the fire. As you want it, you know. I pray for you tonight. More God, we are for life. I hear on your back, no man. Amen. Your life will not remain the same. Your life will change in the name of Jesus. Lord God, this altar. This is the altar that Jesus Christ wants you to rebuild. Altar of fornication. You have to break it down and rebuild. Altar of adultery and seduction. Altar of idolatry. Altar of idolatry. You have it has it it it's a broken down altar. Ewo, pepe iborisha, pepe ti agodo wolule. Altar of covetousness. Bo bo pepe uju kokoro. Ah, altar it is an it's a broken down altar. Ah, pepe ti agodo wonyo. And then you rebuild. How are you saying? Your life, oh, shake by Jesus, you better. Look at how you accepted Jesus in the beginning. That's how you should return to be fair. I said, in Christian, how your love was in Christ before it has become something else. That's why you should return to in our journey. The consuming, it will consume all nonsense in our lives. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ. I mean, you are a child of God. You have to address your steps. Your movement. The preparation is important. It will happen suddenly. You rapture will come. You see, once you begin to live your life. Consciousness. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Your life will be meaningful. Because it's coming. Ah, and I'm afraid though. I am even afraid of myself. I'm afraid for myself. I'm afraid for myself. So I sleep and I wake up with the consciousness that is coming. I pray for you, your labor will not be in vain. Amen. Your labor in Christ will not be in vain. Matthew chapter 7, verse 20, 21, 22, 23. He was talking. He said, So we come and said, I prophesy in your name. He was Matthew, Ori, KJ, SL, 20, 21, 22. Only, I want to come out once of it. Loru Corella was so tell you. In your name, I cast out demons. One, the Bellini. And in your name I heal. And he said, and I will tell them, depart from me. I never knew you. You workers of iniquity. Ah, ah, ah. Prophesy in his name. 
cast out demons in his name and at the end of the day Jesus I never knew you that word will not come to you in the mighty name of Jesus I therefore challenge you tonight I challenge you tonight that rise up and rebuild the order the order that is broken you know it yourself yeah the altar of your heart has been broken down you know it yourself where you have compromised your faith you know it yourself where your faith has become lukewarm you know it yourself where you are just becoming you are just a you are just church goer if Jesus come now you know you are not going you know what you do you know how you walk you know what you are scattered you know your secrets ah but Jesus Christ said he wants to send down fire because of you that the fire may consume all irrelevancy whoever is there who, who is there tonight that is waiting for that fire I pray for you in the name of Jesus the fire will come upon your life and destroy all irrelevancy and destroy all dry grasses in the name of Jesus altar that must be broken down altar of idolatry is Jesus not enough is the name of Jesus not enough you have waited and waited and you are tired then you have gone to another place come back home come back home today so that all your labor will not be is coming. This is what he asked me to come and shout to you. He asked me to tell you that he's coming. And once he comes, it will be sudden. I will meet you in heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. I will see you in heaven in Jesus' name. If you wait and wait for God, don't be tired. Whatsoever gain you don't have here, you will have it in oh, heaven. What you don't see here, you will see it in heaven. Oh, do not, do not, do not the promotion today. You wait and wait for promotion, it didn't call. That's how the altar falls. Oh, do not, do not you wait at the womb. You waited for your own fruit of the womb. It didn't call. Today. It didn't call. It didn't call. That's where the altar broke down. Because where you waited and waited oh, and waited. Oh, Lord. You are tired and you know where you went to. Oh, man, to dalu, oh, man, to dalu, to you know the concussion you made. Uh -huh. You know where you turn things around. That's where the altar fell. You go to the altar. Then God has not forsaken you. That is why he said fire will fall he told so, he know so. then when the fire fell when the fire fell at the time of Elijah it consumed the bunch of rain it consumed the water it consumed the stone everything he met on the altar that is not of the Lord he consumed when the fire comes I pray for you tonight every of what the Lord has not planted in your life every bad character that the Lord did not plant in your life every character they have picked so from you. every character you meet from friends so every character they are sent to hell that you met and you uphold that is not of the Lord so every character they have picked from you every character you meet from friends every character you meet from friends every character you meet from friends now is on the altar and that's what has made the altar to when fall it not so but when the fire comes but when the fire comes but when the fire comes everything that is meaningless it will consume I pray for you tonight for as many who are here if you want the 
fire of the Lord truly was so ever against the will of God in your life as, as the fire comes as the fire comes let it consume, it, consume it now every minute every backer it is in the church of God a very very wicked I want political spirit is in the church of God are we going to make heaven this way will you take this and meet Jesus will you be able to stand with Jesus with this if Jesus come can you stand now he has sent fire now Every of what the Lord did in plant, we will uproot them. Right now, in the mighty name of no, Jesus. No, 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 yes. Every meaningless thing in your life. Every meaningless thing in your life. In the name of the Lord, begin to consume In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Luke chapter 5. We look what it can verse 37. I said 37. Look, look 35. Look, look chapter 5, verse 37 to 38. Look, or it can I said 37. See 38. And no man put new wine into the whole bottle. 37. See 38. Because you see, and it's only if you wine it to two sinu or bolo boy go. As the new wine will bust the bottle. Because you pay wine to two bear iguna and be spilled. I sit down and the bottle shall perish. You go as it bad, yeah. Verse 38. But the new wine must be put into a new bottle. Wine to two lia fi sinu go to two. And both are preserved. I want me jedi as it shed. This is what the Lord wants to do tonight. Jesus Christ has brought new wine. And he wants to pour it into the new bottles. So therefore, if you need the fire to fall tonight, you need to break down the altar of Baal. All the all the altar that God has not approved. Characters and behaviors. I want you to see that the enemy that the devil has planted in your life. You know it. But be sincere with yourself. Remove the clots. Remove these clots. Remove the garment. Be open before Jesus. If you really want, if you want peace, and you want the fire of God, when a sick when a sick person goes to an hospital and he stands before the doctor, and 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 the, and, 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 and the man begins, and the man begins to tell lies to the doctor. Alice, one powerful doctor. What is happening to the man? It's not what he's talking to the doctor. He's a powerful doctor. Ah uh ah. -uh. And the man is saying something else. See what we can mean. See what we can mean. Ah, do you do now? See what this like? It's like that. See what we put in here. The man does not want to be healed. But Jesus Christ is the great physician. He, he created you. And you come to his presence. And he's asking you. Do you know what the question he asked to blind Bartimaeus? He said, What do you want me to do for you? Are you going to say Jesus did not know he was blind? Jesus knows he is blind. He knows his problem. He knows what is happening to him. And yet he was asking blind Bartimaeus. What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? So do, that is exactly like that. Oh. He knows what he is asking. He wants blind Bartimaeus to speak. With his mouth. And blind Bartimaeus spoke. Ah. 
but me about you sorrow. He went straight. Oh Lord, gun, gun. straight to his needs. Oh gun, gun. He said, I Lord, he said, oh, Lord, Lord oh, that I may receive my sight. Me, you lady now. And Jesus Christ said, Yes, why we pay? Thy faith made you. Oh, no, no. more than that. And he received his sight instantly. Oh, you are sure. Oh, you are me, Ula. As you are here today, you are one million. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He's the, he's the great physician. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, the creator of heaven and earth. Oh, no, 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 all of us, we have come to his hospital tonight. And we are now sitting in his presence. And he's asking us, What is wrong with you? What has gone wrong with your life? What you are going to do? What you are going to do? Speak like blood, but in your straight to the point. This unforgiveness in your life. I laid Dariji to the joke was I that you have been carrying for five years. I want a swan, a swan, don't make it back to be a domano. Confess it to Jesus. Oh, that they want for Jesus by you. Some people here, I want you to come and be there. They are the prison in their heart. What you want to think about? Yeah, prison, prison. Okay, okay, I want to be what in Bella. Yeah, it's more than Kirikiri. What do you want to be what Kirikiri? I want to want him. I want you to walk on one little girl. The people. They have imprisoned in their hearts are more than hundred. Right from their secondary school, they have been putting people in prison. Okay, this teacher offended me. Uh, 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 this missus offended me. Uh, in their homes. Uh, in their house, ah, in their family, when they come to the church, there are brothers that they are put in their heart. I will not greet this one again. I will not answer this one again. Ah, even if I'm smiling to this one, the smile is fake. I pray tonight. All prison doors will open in the name of Jesus. Do you know why? Do you know why? You want to make heaven. Many times you have to be a fool. Many times you have to be very stupid. Many times you have to be very stupid. Many times you have to be very stupid. to make heaven. I want to make heaven. I want to make heaven. Many times you have to pay price. For the sacrifice for the altar that has broken down you leave this conference this convention no when you leave this conference there are many people you will have to go and apologize to them you want to make heaven <laughs> Now we have come to the real matter. Things have scattered. Things have scattered. In the spirit. The power from the dark age has come into the world. In the Whoever they will tie down that will not go to heaven, they are looking for that person. You need the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. I don't know if you can interpret that word. Yes, sir. Yoruba says that whoever will not make you to enjoy or satisfy your food, you have to prepare his own without I, 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 I had them to eat. You are correct, sir. Yes, sir. You are correct. What I know. I know. Yes, sir. That in this journey, many people will offend me. I want to make my shit me home. And people that I will offend that I don't know, there are many. But I want to make everything. This world is meaningless. This world is meaningless. <laughs> then what's, what's all our stress? Ah, I can ball. Ah, a world is coming. There's a kingdom coming. I, I, 
It is called everlasting life. And kingdom Kingdom This present war. We are only here to prepare. Ah, this is just a post stop. We are just here to prepare. destination. That place is the real place we are going. Whatever will not make you to go. You must bury them now. Whatever clothes you are putting on. The clothes of prayer. The garment of sin. Garment of iniquity. You call yourself a child of God. They didn't like you in office. It's not because you are you are a child of God. That's why they didn't like you. You are, you, are, you are a thug. It's because thug in your the pata. And they saw the Bible in your hand. Then they were angry. Ah, people were angry. We have to leave that character. You are, you are, you are a man. Every character of a vagabond of of, of Jesus. We have to leave there. I'm sorry, job. We are talking about evil. Ah, we are talking about everlasting. It is another kingdom. It's a kingdom. It's a job. And I pray to now that all of us here we will not miss it. The name of Jesus. Lord God, Jesus. Nitorina. They are four. I'm rounding up. God is calling tonight. As many as want to the fire to fall on the altar of their heart. Proverbs 23 26 says, My son, my son, my son, keep me your heart. Keep me your heart. And let your eyes delight in my ways. That is what the Lord is asking from you tonight. The Lord is looking for your heart. Hand over your heart. Release yourself. Right from now. Let there be a new person in his presence. In that fire will come down now. And cleanse us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And as the word is coming, begin to receive that fire. Begin to receive it. Begin to receive it. Don't wait until don't say that we are going to come. No lay 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 the Lord wants to do it. And he wants to, he wants us to be ready. So therefore, the fire is coming. The, the fire is already moving. So therefore, is anyone here tonight who wants to be free from the bondage of the devil? And their hearts can be rebuilt tonight. Is is anyone here tonight that you want to be free from the bondage of the devil? And you want your altars to be rebuilt tonight? Mark chapter 10, verse 46. We mark and he says, and they came to Jericho. Oh, we pay. What's he? What's he? Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples. Oh, we pay. What's he? What's he? Jericho. This is in Jade Lokuro. In Jericho, we are one man. And a great number of people. At your point, we mean the blind Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus, I for you. The son of Timaeus. Oh, my Timaeus. Sat by the highway. Don't go let down now. Begging. Oh, shabby. Verse and then verse forty-seven. Ori forty. S forty-seven. And when he heard, but you go pay. That it was Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus. He began to cry out and say, Jesus, yes. son of David, have mercy on me. Ah, that is the prayer tonight. Jesus, the son of God. Jesus, the mighty one. Jesus, the redeemer. Jesus, the savior of the world. Jesus, have mercy on me. And you know what? When Jesus had that type of prayers, Mark chapter 10, verse 49. Mark and Jesus stood and Jesus stood still. Jesus stood still. 
Ah, and he commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man. Ah, and saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rice is calling oh, you. Ah, that is the prayer tonight. A prayer Jesus cannot withstand. The mercy. That is the prayer Jesus will hear and stand still. God said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. He is the mighty, merciful God. He is the merciful God. I don't know who is here tonight and need mercy. I don't know who wants mercy here tonight. I don't know who need mercy tonight. If the fire falls tonight, what sacrifice will it consume? If you want the fire to fall tonight, what sacrifice will it consume? I did consume. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. We Rome. It's a huge sacrifice. He's not asking for goats. He's not asking for animals. He's not asking for money. Uh -huh. I mean, he's not asking for this type of sacrifice you are talking about. That will bring fire. Romans 12. Because when we, have, when we see altar we see offering and then fire will come uh -huh. we have talked about the altar your heart what is sacrifice Roman 12 1 I beseech you therefore I beseech you therefore by the mercy of God, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, and which is your reasonable service. This is the service God is looking for. Your life. Yourself. But the first thing first. Prayers. Mercy. I don't know who here tonight needs the mercy. Who wants the mercy of God? If you are here tonight, you need that mercy. You need help. You need deliverance. Oh, to see from the hands of the devil, from the, from the power of sin, from the power of this ungodliness. So, if you want to be delivered, they don't like that spirit, but they cannot do anything about it. But there is the healer, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He created your life he has the spear part in his hand he can repair you completely and replace it and he can renew your heart tonight I want to pray but one prayer you are going to pray before I pray for you Jesus Christ son of God have mercy on me. I want to make the kingdom of God. And you know your life needs to be righteous. Beg for mercy. Hospital, you are now in his hospital. Hospital, you are in his hospital now. Only doctor. He is the physician. He's a great physician. And now he's asking you. What can I do for you? Tell him. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Wherever you may be.
I want you to raise up your hands. If you really understand the message of tonight. If you know what God is talking about tonight. Tell him to have mercy on you. To deliver you from the bondage of sin. To deliver you from the bondage of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to raise up your voice. Just tell him Jesus. Have mercy on me. 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 Wherever you are, I want you to close your eyes. I want to pray for you. Close your eyes. I want to pray for you. Close your eyes. I want to pray for you. But I want to pray for some sweet, special. Very special. special case. I want to and I want to pray for them now. Listen to me. You are here in this place. And you know. You need this mercy. Mercy. And the reason for the mercy is this. You want to get to heaven. But in your life. You want to be delivered. From the bondage of the devil. Bondage of sin. You want to hand over your life to Jesus. You want to hand over your life to Jesus. Listen to me very well. I know you go to church. I know you are church members. But I am talking about your soul. Your soul. Your soul. Your soul. Your life. Your life. Your soul is more important than your service. And therefore, you want your life. You want to hand over your life to Jesus. You know that the devil is holding you down. But Jesus is here tonight. He will deliver you. Tonight is the day of that deliverance. That fire will come upon your life. So you want help. You want him to help you. And the help he can give you is to deliver you from the bondage of sin. You know there is a sin holding you down. So that will not allow you to see God. It will not allow you to get to heaven. But the Lord wants to send down fire tonight. You want to hand over your life to Jesus. You want to cross from that Nice to light. You want to tell Jesus, this is my life, take my life. He will not die, he will not die. Take it. Take my life. You want your name written in the book of life. You want your name written in the book of life. You want to cross from darkness to light. You want to hand over your life to Jesus. You want to tell Satan that, that you are taking over your life. Jesus is taking over your life tonight. That you are crossing over tonight. You are belonging to him tonight. You are belonging to Jesus. Tonight. Listen to me very well. I'm not talking about church. I'm talking about I'm talking about your salvation. I'm talking about heaven. Therefore, wherever you may be, you want the power of sin to be broken from your life. You want to be renewed. A new creature. And that it all, wherever you may be, lay your hand on your head. Listen to me very well. You want your name written in the book of life. Lay your hand on your head. You want to cross from darkness to light. Lay your hand on your head. You want to be delivered from the powers of sin. Lay your hand on your head. You want your name written in the book of life. Lay your hand on your head. You want to become completely transformed and completely changed and become a property and child of God.
lay your hand on your head and listen to me very well this is god talking god is talking to us tonight he wants to do he, there are souls here tonight that the lord is writing their name in the book of life tonight they are escaping from the bondage of the devil tonight so if you belong to such sin is holding you down but you, want, you want to be broken from the power of that sin and you want to become a brand new creature lay your hand on your head i want to pray for you listen to me if listen you, you have no what i've said abi you want to cross from darkness to light you want to become a brand new creature you want your name written in the book of life you want to become God's child the property of God you want, you want the bond to be broken from the power of sin and you want to become a changed person lay your hand on your head and i want to pray for you listen to me if you are laying your hand on your head please come forward here you know the reason why the blind party mules the blind party mules he went to jesus the madman of gadara he ran to jesus it is a sick man that will go to jesus a sick man will go to the doctor it is not me that is calling you it is Jesus Jesus if you are sincere come forward I want to pray for you if you, are, if, 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 if you want to be delivered from the bondage of sin you want to hand over your life to Jesus don't look left or right keep coming you are coming to Jesus surrender yourself to him wherever you may be keep coming you are handing your life over to Jesus your name is written in the book of life you want to be delivered from the bondage of sin you want to become a transformed person you want to be delivered from the powers of darkness you want Jesus to have mercy on you you want your name written in the book of life come here wherever you may be keep coming God bless you as well. Keep coming. Keep coming. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. There's something that is happening tonight. God is writing names in the book of life. Something is happening tonight. The devil is in shame right now. Because you are escaping from his bondage. However terrible your sin may be. He will forgive you. He will forgive you. But you have to come to his presence you want a new life keep coming you want to hand over your life to jesus keep coming you want your name written in the book of life keep coming he's writing names in the book of life now and as you are kneeling down in his presence pray the prayer of blind Bartimaeus. have mercy on me jesus have mercy on me jesus i hand over my life to you take over my life henceforth I am sorry for all I have done. I am sorry for all I have done. I surrender myself to you. I surrender my life to you. Are you still coming? I want to pray for them now. This is a great opportunity. And these are the people you are praying for now. And then we will now pray for all of us. For that fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. If you are, if you are kneeling down here, just say this prayer after me. My Lord Jesus. Keep coming if you are still coming. My Lord Jesus. I come to you tonight. I hand over my life. Unto you. Forgive me all my sins and wipe my sins away wipe my sins away with your precious blood right from today I hand over myself unto you write my name in the book of life thank you Jesus Satan Satan Take your hand from my life. I have handed over my life to Jesus. I belong to Jesus now. In Jesus name. I pray. Say amen as I pray for you. In Jesus name. Mighty father, king of glory. 
Look at your children. Look at them. On their own, they walk out and kneel down before you, not before us. They have surrendered themselves unto you. I pray today, Jesus, that you take over their life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take control of their life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right from now, use them for your glory. Amen. Right from now, deliver them from the bondage of the devil. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you.